Hey everybody, appreciate you joining me. Old t Roy here. Tell you what, I got me a new pit. Thought I would share it with you. Uh, today is the 19th of April, 2014, and I just wanted to show you my new pit. It's a Yoder Wichita. It's an offset smoker, and uh, I just had it delivered today. So let me show you how this thing looks. Brand new. Check this out. See, you can sit back over here, look. See? Boy, that's so nice, so nice. See, you got your firebox over here. Nice little firebox here. Got your main chamber right here. All right. Got your smokestack over here. Got some nice big heavy duty wheels. Now this thing's about 600 pounds. It's a 20 inch quarter, uh, 20 inch diameter, quarter inch thick pipe. Uh, doors and everything are all quarter inch. Uh, and again, it's, it's, it's over 600 pounds. The uh, cooking area with the second grade in here the upper grade is a little over 1600 square feet of cooking area and uh, let me let me get you a little bit closer look here all right and again this thing is brand, brand spanking new uh, I did have some optional stuff added to it as a Wichita fully loaded this is your charcoal grate this is a uh, extra but what this does this uh, you can use this main chamber as a uh, as a charcoal pit um, I'll show you here in a second, but that's what this is. All right, and then we got, come on now. You got your main upper rack here. This is a slide out rack. And again, it's a, it's a good size slide out rack. You still got some head room up here when the door is closed. You got plenty of room under here. Uh, but if you want to do a turkey or something, you have to take this out. But this thing slides out. And as you can see, you can put some weight on it. It's got a little, uh, brackets back here to hold it on this rail so you can take this out if you need to and you've got two of these regular racks here both of these come out all right and uh under there you've got the uh, the heat management plate let me show that to you be right back all right so i have all the grates taken out and uh, you can see these uh these are nice welded racks all up in here but this is your heat management system Firebox is on this end, so you have smaller holes here because it's hotter. So you don't need as much heat. Now, these holes will minimize the heat coming on this end. And as you go over here towards the pipe, the smokestack end, the holes progressively get larger to let more heat on this side. And that's supposed to be a heat management system that kind of regulates the, the heat from one end of the, the main cooking chamber to the other. We try to keep it uh, within 10, 20 degrees from end to end. So we're going to do that. Um, and over here it fits next to this right here so no heat from the from the main firebox gets in here without going under this heat management plate um, what else we got here oh again you can take this out this just slides right out and this thing is heavy oh lord it's a heavy old piece right here let me show you real quick here charcoal grate see this charcoal grate sit it down in here put your charcoal in here put your cooking grates on top of that and it's a charcoal grill Something like that all right let me show you the firebox all right so here's a nice shot of the firebox and this is the grate you can use this to cook burgers or steaks on above the fire if you needed to you can take this out take that out just like so there's where your wood sits or your charcoal and on mine i don't know if you can see beneath it but i have so if you can see down there you can't really let me see if i can get over here for you uh down there i've got a, a log burner that is another add-on and uh that's a propane fired by the 60,000 btu burner stainless steel looks like and oh tell you what all this stuff is well built man well built all right and uh see down here you got a little tray and again over here you've got the tray but uh the welds and everything man all these welds on this thing they're all really nice let me close the door here show you the fit nice tight fit all around here um the wichita loaded comes with this counterweight and it comes with two uh thermometers here they go up to 600 and it's a uh, Yoder smoker thermometers and it's got the uh, Yoder smoker tag here oh let me show you something exciting hang on 
All right, I'm freestyling right now. There's the back of it. Looks nice. It's got the big old wheels down there. Oh, and you can see right there is your LP hookup for your uh, propane burner for the log lighter. And again, that was an extra. Got a nice little rack down here to hold your wood or whatever. And... <laughs> All right, there you go, Mr. Smoky Goodness Guy. Ah, those dogs. Damn dogs. Shut up, dog. Let me show you real quick here. This is extra. I had a couple of uh, pit probe holes put in right there. And uh, they look little rubber grommets around there. And if you look down here, I had this added on the mine. Just a little Yoder smoker plate. Pretty nice. And right here is where you hang your bucket for your grease. And it comes with a bucket for you. So the grease drips out there. You can drain it every once in a while. And again, here's your smokestack. Pretty good size stack on there. Counterweight. And oh, let me show you this feature over here. Check this out. See this hot plate right here? Nice hot plate to put you uh, some kind of a you know powder, whatever on there. On the Yoders, they've actually got if you can see a couple of little holes right there that actually let the heat go to that hot plate so it's gonna get hot because it's right over this fire good stuff good stuff all right on this end this is your vent open and close let the air flow in and out and then, I mean, you know let it in it comes out the stack um, and this is an extra I had this added this is for a guru had that put on there for me that's your cooking chamber. You can see the burner down here. Stainless steel burner. Alright guys, so there you go. This is my review of the Yoder Wichita. Brand new. Now we need to season her up. And start cooking. So appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll be back next time.